Greetings, everybody, and I hope the Easter season finds you well as we gather for this second Sunday of Easter, and it's traditionally called Divine Mercy Sunday. And there are many people who have tremendous devotion to Divine Mercy, and this weekend in particular has, is that sense of joy for, for them, and indeed for all of us, as we reflect on Christ, who is full of mercy. But we are continuing to hear the wonderful stories from the Acts of the Apostles, the story of the early church and how the early church lived and witnessed to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the gospel in particular is a gospel we can all connect with. And I think we can all connect with the humanity of Thomas. Thomas was one who had heard them all saying, we have seen the risen Lord, we, we experienced his presence and he spoke to us and ate with us. But of course, Thomas wanted empirical proof. He wanted factual proof that Christ was risen. And we hear in the story, the gospel story, that Jesus appears to his friends in the upper room and with the wonderful greeting, peace be with you. And then he speaks to Thomas, a lovely moment for him. I'm sure there was a sense of, I suppose, worry for him and maybe a little bit afraid. And Jesus says to him, come over here. Put your hand and finger into my side. Look at, look at the marks that the nails have made. Doubt no longer, but believe. And one of the wonderful works that I think we're all aware of, and maybe for not, we could check it out on our wonderful gadgets of technology is Caravaggio's Doubting Thomas. And it literally, Caravaggio has Christ taking Thomas by the elbow and forcing him to put his finger into his side. And Thomas in that image is dumbstruck, he is awestruck. And one could imagine how he felt when he took his finger out, he looked at Christ face to face, and he left us that prayer, forever ancient yet new, that wonderful proclamation of faith, my Lord and my God. Thomas, doubt no longer but believe. Friends, doubt no longer but believe, because Christ is truly risen, and Alleluia is our song. I wish you a lovely and blessed Sunday.